like it's an episode of Born Fish and Die Fish in. Literally just got the rod out there and had that scream off. Lovely bream. Yeah, more than happy with that. But two sets, I'll chuck this back and then I'll get back to you one minute. Yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't really get to the proper opening video then. Thought I'd show you that fish. But yeah, literally we've got the rods cast out there, drop shot rods. Got the bigger rod cast out there. And yeah, I can't complain really. But yeah, literally that rod went screaming off. I sat there on a two up boom rig. I sat there with a whole bit of squid. And yeah, I got the drop shot rods out there. They're just on drop shots and that's a little bit of ragworm. Got a little blenny a minute ago as well before I managed to get the camera out also. But yeah, that's my opening video. So yeah, hopefully show you a few more. We'll get back to you soon. Wow. Another absolutely cracking bream there. Yeah, just had that on a, the two up boom rig cast right out there. And that's some on manky old pink squid. And yeah, absolutely lovely fish. I'm gonna get this guy chucked back. Wow, another decent size bream there. Can't complain at that. He's about a bad size. I'll probably put him about 30 centimetres. Yeah, that's just caught on the monkey old pink squid. And yeah, it's doing the job. That's probably the smallest of the three I've had so far. But yeah, this is the second one I had is quite a beast. So yeah, I'm gonna get this guy chat back and hopefully show you another. Well, good morning. Welcome to an episode of Warm Fish and Die Fishing. Here we are, it's very early. Time now is about half four. And yeah, here we are down in the Portsmouth. There's spinning Katara as you can see. Yeah, I thought I'd get down here, try to beat the crowds, put the day off work, so I thought I'd make use of it. And as you can see, it's empty, the usual around here is busy. So yeah, like I said, I thought I'd get down here, beat the crowds. Because yeah, I was down here yesterday with the, um, two little girls and the missus. Didn't do too bad. I had about four bream, yeah, four bream, a few blennies, a few gobies, a few different species. Just can't really complain, I had a good little session. But I will tag that onto the end of this video. And yeah, there's plenty of people pulling out mackerel, so I'm hoping that I can pull a few mackerel out before the crowds get out today. Which will be very nice. But yeah, it's absolutely lovely morning to be out. It's not cold out here, it's quite cushy to be fair. And yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick video before I head down to the spot. Well, I'm actually at Spice Island at the minute. And yeah, I was about to walk around to the spot. And yeah, I'll just get back to once on that. Wow. I'm down at the spot. Not that you're going to be able to see a lot at the moment. But I've got one rod there. This is a two hook flapper. I chucked out there a bit of ragworm on it, hoping for anything. And yeah, I'm about to start chucking the feathers out there soon. Another side of white fairy going out over there. So yeah, I'll probably give it another half hour to 45 minutes. And yeah, the light will start coming up. And yeah, if we get into a few mackerel, that's the plan. Yeah, we'll be taking some home for a friend. He'll be eating them for dinner. And yeah, if I get any extras, yeah, I'll be getting in the freezer. That's if I get any to start with. But I do feel quite hopeful. The tide's ripping quite a bit. And yeah, if he wants to tie the um, sun comes up, hopefully get a few bites. And right, chill out, enjoy the morning. And then yeah, start banging the feathers out there soon. All right, get back to Sam. To be fair, I did forget to mention where I am. I'm just at the benches in Old Portsmouth. They're the benches over there. And yeah, the blue lights you can see down there is Round Tower. So yeah, just along the rock, rocks here. Like I said, I see plenty of people pulling macro out here yesterday. So fingers crossed I'll do the same. And then, yeah, I've got a bit of a plan to move somewhere else in a bit once the light does come up. Because yeah, it's low tide about 7 o'clock today. So yeah, the tide is on its way out. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. The next spot I'm going to, you can fish at low tide, which is quite nice. Right. You know, chill out, like I said, and then, yeah, I'll forget about you in a bit. Well, taking a rest for a second. My arm is dead. And he's a gym to come do this thing in the morning. Oh, knackered. But yeah, I've got a guy next to me down there. He arrived about the same time as me. He's had two so far. And yeah, I've been going hard since that, but yeah, I've not had nothing so far. But yeah, just to be on this ferry, out the Gosport side, there's absolutely thousands, and I mean thousands of seagulls out there. Like literally, if you're out there, you'll be catching mackerel galore. 
Like the camera's not going to be able to make it out. I've tried doing the best video I can on my phone, but even that's not making it out the best. But honestly, there are thousands of seagulls out there. Out near that red post, just uh, about here, there was literally thousands of seagulls smashing the water out there. So 100% there's bait fish and mackerel out there. But yeah, just shaming up down this side. Yeah, like I said, the guy did have some about five, ten minutes ago, and you haven't gone hard since, but nothing since. But yeah, I'm gonna keep trying. Like I said, so I've got this rod out here, two hook flapper. I start there, a bit of ragworm, we're getting a few knocks, but no takes yet. I've worked absolutely lovely morning for it. Nice just to be out enjoying this, enjoying the weather. But yeah, like I said, I'll we'll take a little rest, have a breather, and then yeah, get back on the rack fishing. Right, switch your singing. Absolutely alive out there with birds. It's hard to make out on the camera, but there are thousands of them. Oh, first one. Can't complain. Not a bad size macro there. We're going to get them hard and hooked, sort them out. And right, I'll be sure you'll never. I've got one here. Definitely got one. It's just the one, but still I'm not complaining. Cool. Yeah, not a bad size mackerel there. But I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Let's stop flapping. A lovely size mackerel. Yeah, more than happy of him. Can't complain. Yeah, it's free now. Not too many, but probably got about another 40 minutes left of free parking. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and move spots. But lovely little macro, love the colors on macro, it's so nice looking. Lovely looking fish. All right, I'm gonna get them sorted out. And then, yeah, switch the same. Got another one here. <laughs> lovely. It's number four now. Oh no. Well, I can get that. I'm gonna have to jump off. Right, I'll be back. Well, that is the problem with these mackerel. You so likely hook them, they can fall off quite easily. It's got a wet trousers and wet knees bending down, trying to get that bit of a wet back. But yeah, we got it. So yeah, I'm gonna get them sorted out. And yeah, get back to it with another one, hopefully. Well, just packed up my other rod. Can have a couple more casts on this. Got about 15 minutes to the parking. Takes about five to get back. So yeah, I'm gonna have a couple more casts. Yeah, fingers crossed, show you a couple of fish. If not, I'll see you at the next spot. And would you believe it? I think I got one. Oh no, it drops it. No way. Yeah. No, it's still on there. It's still on there. I thought they dropped it. It was swimming at me. Yeah, would you believe it? Last gas. Not complaining. <laughs> Just about to go get some breakfast as well. Starting to get hungry. Yeah, definitely not a big one. This one I might have to track back. All well, the rest have been over 30, 32 centimetres. But this one, well, actually, there's two. Yeah, cannot complain. Last cast, two macro. Yeah, I need to get these measured, see if I keep four. If not, track them back. I think the bottom one's going back, so I might just be keeping four. Right, switch to them. Well, I generally was my last cast. So yeah, I need to get back some of parking. So, but yeah, I can't complain, six macro. I tracked one of them back because it was a bit too small. But yeah, the rest are all over 32 centimetres, so they were coming home with me. Give them away a couple for dinner, and then yeah, I'll be having the rest put in the freezer. But yeah, I can't complain. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some breakfast, and then yeah, move on to the next spot. So 
So yeah, I'll see you when I'm there. Ah, as you can see at the other spot, down at Eastmead Pier. As you can see, there's plenty of people up on the pier. So you ask me, I've got a little beach down here, maybe walk out to the little jetty and hit the red thing down there in a bit. Yeah, at the minute, I've still got the feathers on. Yeah, I'll probably switch over to a lure in a minute, see what else I can get. Maybe there might be some bass or garfish about, you never know. Obviously, it's not ideal being in low tide, but I've caught down here on low tide before. So, yeah, I'm gonna walk down there, have a few casts of these feathers, switch over to a lure. And yeah, I'll probably work my way up along the shore, and then yeah, go out onto there. So, see how it goes. Alright, you watch your thing. Ah, uh, switch over to the lure. Got a nice 30 gram lure on there. Like I brought the wellies today, as you can see, I'm out on this. There's a slick that's over there, so yeah, I'll probably follow it around. I'll go out there in a minute. Uh, gonna have a few more tries there. Alright, let's go back to one. Wow, I'm not sure if the camera can make that out. Yeah, that's it, dude. Wow. Another thing I've heard a lot of people saying, which is quite annoying, and I do agree. There's no need for it really. They come in with you. I know they're disposable, but I don't mean dispose them anywhere. Let's see what I mean. Four vapes. It's just annoying really. But yeah, there's another bit of waste everyone's got to deal with. But yeah, I'll take them home, chuck them in the bin. But yeah, like I said, I bet myself, but yeah, I, I don't have disposables, so I don't agree with them, I don't like them. And yeah, even if I did, I would not be letting them on the beach, there's no need for it. It's not good for the environment at all. But yeah, enough of the mining. Right, let's go back to fishing. Well, oh, still nothing at the minute. Set the feathers back on, put the door on the bottom. But yeah, and I had no luck yet. Yeah, I'll probably give it another like 10 minutes. And then, yeah, I'll probably better get off here before the tide comes up much more. And then yeah, I'm going to head off to another spot. I've got two choices, I'm a bit undecided yet, so I'm going to go have a look at one, see how it looks, and then if not, try the other, so, right, give it a minute, we'll get a little bit more longer, and yeah, we'll get out of here, right, let's fix this in. Well, as you can see, completely different location, decided to go down to South Pro Beer, so yeah, not fished it before, heard you can't get good fish down here, seen some good people catch some good fish down here, you know, there's plenty of life. Well, you'll be able to see, but yeah, plenty of little fish underneath. So yeah, I'm gonna get. I've paid paid to fish here for the day. I'm gonna get a little drop shot rod out there, cast another rod further out there, hope for some bream or something. And yeah, all right, I'll get back to the set up. Well, it's had a lovely little cork queen ras there. Can't complain. Colours on it, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, lovely little fish going for there and see the bites. Struggling to skip the little rod in the water, literally having a bait up every literally like not even a 30 seconds. Like. But yeah, I can't complain. Love little fish. Let me show you a few more. Well, I can't complain. Nice little bream there. Let's come to free at a flapper, cast out there, squid. Yeah, lovely fish to be fair. Let's go check back. Out there. I'm getting bites out there. So yeah. Alright, let's show you another one. Wow. 
another broom, another nice little black broom. That comes with the three little flapper, squid, cast right out there. Yeah, gave an absolute crashing bite, I'm telling you. Yeah, cut mine at that, so we get them checked back, and that'll be sure you another. <laughs> Lovely room. I believe that or not, that was actually on the drop shot. A little bit of rag round drop close in. And yeah, it went ripping off. Absolutely ripping off. I'm going to get the strap back so we can bite some of the other one. Right, see you soon. Well, on my last cast. So I've run out of squid. So yeah, it's got my last cast out there. I've got a couple more casts of the on the drop shot. Yeah, I've got a couple of scraps of ragworm to use up, and then yeah, that'll be it, can't complain. Two days fishing, I think it's about eight species, so I have to double check. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I've had eight species over the two days. Obviously a few different locations, a few different types of fishing, but yeah, cannot complain. Yeah, like I said, you never know, I might have one more. So yeah, right, I'm going to get back to you in a minute. Well, that's me all packed up. Man out of bait, would have said a bit longer, but to be fair, I've been out since three o'clock this morning, so... Yeah, looking forward to going home, having some grub. Yeah, chilling out for the afternoon, got work tomorrow, so... Yeah, I can't complain, like I said, over two days, I think I had about eight species. So yeah, I had quite a few, happy with all their mackerel. Got a few broom today, nice size wrasse. Can't complain. And obviously yesterday, yeah, I had some nice, chunky size broom. Which I didn't get the best video of, to be honest with you, but I will tag them in. But yeah, can't complain, really. Yeah, like I said, love the two days session. Right, right, hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time.